and I had realized that I hadn't uh, backed up my pictures for like, I guess I'm like, like half, like six months. Six months. I lost six months of pictures. I just lost two hours of pictures. Happy. Not too happy about it, but I am happy about tuning a car on the dyno right now. super set up and we are going to see what she does this is a very mild setup technically speaking it has a decent single turbo nothing crazy it's using a link ECU and uh, it is what it is I guess not really much to it right it already feels good yeah we'll see what it does. so we're gonna set this up maybe mid 300s or so pump gas I'd be happy with that. Yeah, that'd be a good, good solid number for this. Just not going to push it at all. 93 octane. Fresh off the boat from Japan to Australia to here. So it's, it's had a ride. So we're going to go ahead and see what it does. Um, again, not expecting huge numbers, but we are going to have some fun with it. So let's see what it does. Hopefully it stays together and makes a little bit of power. And then after we do the dyno run, I'll set up the, uh, the two-step because, you know, big poppy flames, Supra goes hand in hand. So as you can see, little flames, got the two-step set up, Link ECU, limited stuff. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and take it down now and we're going to see what it looks like in the dark because that's usually where the flames look the best. So there we got a little bit of fire. It's not too shabby. It's not the not the not the best performance, but it's okay. Again, mild car, mild setup. The new owner is gonna really love that car, so come and get it. Another beautiful day at HP Logic. Say hi, Shaw. It's a beautiful day here at HP Logic. Welcome to the show. Woo! Yeah, I thought you did <laughs> Call Shaw if you want to explain to him uh, any of your problems, any of your concerns. I'm doing ter therapy sessions today. Oh, really? I uh, spoke what, to my brother. What actually. are the hours? Ooh, well, it's a brief hour between 10 and 11 a.m. Okay, That's which has already passed. Yeah, we passed that for today. But, okay. Uh, yeah. So don't call. No. Well, call, but no therapy. 10, 10 to 11. How did the therapy okay. sessions go? Well, my brother's going through a depressing time because he has to go through a blizzard up in Syracuse. That New sucks. York, and he said that he has to work. Shout out Sahir. So, Sahir, bro. I mean, sorry. You're, you're done. Pray yeah. for Sahir. Pray for him. Anyway, keep praying for me because now I went ahead and took it apart again because I wanted to do the fuel system. It was nagging me. I had it sitting here. So, I took the whole thing apart again back into the beast. I'm gonna replace some more vacuum lines, which I didn't even get to. And I'm also gonna upgrade the fuel system. So I already got the stock rail out. It's just the secondary rail. So this is the stock secondary rail. And there's some crusty old 850cc injectors in there that have just been trying their whole life. And I'm gonna go ahead and take those, or take these out the new rail that I have is from Rotary Performance. Shout out Chris Ott. It took him a while to get it done, but you know, you can't rush perfection. That's what I said in the first iteration of trying to get this done, and I'm saying it now. So here it is, finally, secondary rail. This replaces the stock one, and as you can see, it is a direct replacement. It uses this sensor, I think it's a temperature sensor. And it also uses 
the factory fuel pressure regulator which goes on the end. <clears throat> it also accepts the factory banjo bolt on this end. So it is in, a, in essence the simplest upgrade uh, to convert to top feed injectors which we have right here. So these are 2200 cc injectors and we're going to throw those in to replace these 850s and that should give us a lot of headroom for the factory turbos. This, um, these factory secondaries are, are maxed out. So as you get close to that 300 horsepower threshold, you start running into the 90% duty cycle area, which is way too much. So we're gonna go ahead and replace those now, get these in. Here's the settings, everything's gonna go right into the Haltech and it should be hunky-dory. So let's get it going. Well, you can't see much, but we uh, we got the rail in, the injectors. This is a monumental task, getting all that to fit down in there. Had to undo a ton of vacuum lines, redo a bunch of stuff, connectors, you name it. This is not a novice install. So if you're doing this setup, be, re be prepared to replace fuel lines, vacuum lines, drop bolts, just a slew of different things. I also have the ACV deleted, which made it a lot easier. If you don't have that deleted, reconsider. Um, other than that, everything's in now. I'm gonna go ahead and button it up and enter in the parameters for the ECU so it can control the bigger injectors. And then hopefully we get a clean fire and we can go and see how it works. Meanwhile, I gotta put all this junk back on. Okay, so we're all back together now, and uh, I just took it for a little ride, and everything feels pretty good. I set up the injectors in the Haltech for the uh, for the bigger secondaries, and you can see it's pretty straightforward. You just change your dead times according to the instructions and then the flow rating has changed right here. So we've moved the flow up to a 2164, which is what they call for. And everything looked good. It took a couple of logs. Air fuel ratio is solid in the 11s. And uh, yeah, so everything's good. I got the boost currently set up right around 14 PSI. Not really trying to push this setup. We're making 300 to the wheel. So we have plenty of headroom. If we wanted to, we could run the 85. I don't know if I want to try it on this motor just because it's been running 93 its whole life and it runs good. So just gonna run this one through, staying on the stock twins for now. When this motor gets tired or gives up, then we'll talk about single turbo and blah, blah, blah. But for now, that's gonna do it. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so I got everything set up. We're gonna take it for a little spin just to make sure we're, the sequential system's working. Good startup. Now these injectors are 2200 cc, so it's a pretty big jump going from the stock 850 cc secondaries. So there's a little bit of setup that had to be done to make sure that the transition going into the secondary fueling is pretty smooth. It doesn't, you don't want it to be real rough where you feel that big pop. So uh, sequential system is set up to switch over at about 4,500 RPM. So it's gonna switch from the, the single primary turbo to both turbos, right around 4,500 RPM. The secondaries are gonna come on as boost comes in. That's gonna probably happen pretty quick. That'll happen probably before the secondary turbo comes in. So let's go ahead and just warm it up a little bit just cruise up to speed and give it a chance to get warm. I had it idling for a little bit earlier, but shouldn't take too long to get warm. And if I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I absolutely love the sequential turbo system on these cars. It's just so nice. It gives you a ton of low-end torque comes on instantly. All right, 
So I'm just gonna cruise up through second gear. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get on second. So first gear, there's second gear. We got some decent temperature and here we go. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. Perfect sw switch over from the primary turbo to the secondary and perfect switch over to secondary fueling as well. So successful, happy with that. We're gonna run that for a little while and enjoy it. Um, injector duty cycle will be probably around 60%, 50 to 60% by the math. So really happy with that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and stay tuned for the next mods.